Well, good day to everybody out there. It is New Year's Eve. We have made it all the way through 2012, and my, how time flies, doesn't it? The world didn't end. You knew it wouldn't. The Mayans worshipped false gods, so you knew that part of it was out of the equation. I don't see that their gods have returned. Although you do have readings now that maybe it was the spirit of their gods that have returned. Some of them are saying it's a spirit of enlightenment and the heightened of consciousness. Some of them are saying that they could have incorporated themselves into open and willing people willing to accept them into their own bodies. Oh well, huh? I just think uh, it's not time and that they can't do anything unless God tells them it's within my timeline of his story and his prophecy of the world and its people and how it will progress so let's start this off <clears throat> talking about this joke that we've had to hear over and over and over again for so long called the fiscal cliff and as you can see again, what they've done is nothing. And here we are taking it down to the last minute. Now even if they do not reach an agreement, there are emergency, um, and I want to say that, there are emergency actions they can take that are not going to smash everything. They're going to be able to have money to keep everything going uh, and then prescribably fix this fiscal cliff after the first of the year. They've already got certain agreements for tax hikes built into it. They're just putting on a show and a play for our amusement and to antagonize us and the worryous. So what is going to happen is they're going to reach an agreement possibly within a few hours because both sides are basically the same. One just wears a blue suit, one wears a brown suit. They both answer to the same people that pulled their strings. So they are going to raise taxes. You're going to see, well, you've, you've heard on television and probably checked yourself, but you can imagine, uh, just like the Obamacare, there's going to be things built within things, built within things, like a pyramid, of where prices of things are going to go up, which means we're going to be left with more in our pocket, le less. Excuse me, I didn't mean to say more. We're going to be less in the pocketbook. Now one thing that um, maybe you ain't paid attention to or not <clears throat> is your Social Security tax on your paycheck. And as you can see, right over here, well we got some notification where I work and I wanted to pass it on to you so that you're aware of it if you haven't been made aware of it we've been on a Social Security tax holiday remember the King granted us a reduction in our payroll tax for Social Security for a while so it's the tax relief the Unemployment Insurance Reauthorization and Job Creation Act reduced the Social Security payroll tax by 2 percent paid by the worker this reduction was extended to the end of February 2012 by the Temporary Payroll Tax Cut Continuation Act and under the Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act. It was extended through December of 2012. But the memorandum that I saw in my employer's workplace 
was saying that after the first of the year this 2% would not be extended. 2% doesn't sound like a much, very much, but let's say, ooh, I don't know, um, hmm, well, let's see, let's say you bring home, I don't know, say you bring home 3000 a month, $1,500 a week, take 2% of that, and you're down that much more money on your bi-weekly paycheck. Multiply that by two, you're down that much by a month, times 12 by a year. <clears throat> so you're already, without action, going to see a 2% in back increase back up to where it was. So that is a, an increase we're already going to get that. And they're wrangling over which person that makes which amount is going to get their taxes raised. Blah, blah, blah. And you can look and see, you know, it sounds like a bunch of money, and it is, but it, it costs a lot of money to live. Geographically speaking, depending, that's the way the whole setup is, depending upon where you live at, that's how they charge you accordingly, right? You all knew that. Like say, New York and California would be some of the most expensive places to live. So, pretend you lived in New York and made $250,000 a year. And you go to McDonald's and get a I don't know, a quarter pound of cheese and some fries and coke, you're probably not going to get it for six fifty, you know. So prices are high. Sounds like a, a lot, but let's say you have four kids and you make two hundred and fifty thousand a year. You know, the tax on that is uh, whoa sixty or seventy thousand bucks a year, I think. Well, that's quite a bit of taxes, don't you think? Already? And you don't get any talk of stopping the spending. You know, it's a joke. No budget for three years. You should be able to see it. Everybody should be able to see it. You know, this election had to have been fraud. Nobody in their right mind would vote for someone that continually is running the economy into the ground and spending all the money and then wanting the authority and the power to raise the debt ceiling so they can go out and continue to borrow money and go deeper and deeper into the hole. People, I have faith in people, even though I see people doing stupid things, thinking, thinking stupidly. Sorry to put it that way, but you don't vote for somebody just because you like them, if the vote even counted. You vote on what they've done. They either achieve or they fail. And Obama, from what I see, has failed. There's no doubt about it. It's inarguable. Now, Benghazi, the deaths of our ambassador and our Americans, the story of Benghazi is still cloudy. We know what the story is pretty much. He didn't protect our people. And this one here said the buck stopped with her and she was responsible for the security of the people. She's already made that statement. And then we have uh, the Benghazi hearings coming up in which she would be supposedly having to testify. And then we have the mysterious fainting. I hit my head. I uh, got a concussion. I'm giving you notice. I won't be able to be there. I won't be able to testify. And now we have the mysterious blood clot. 
uh, in the hospital. Well, she may have one, she may not have one. She may have slipped and fallen and hit her head when she fainted, maybe not. But I find it mysteriously odd that upon her having to go testify, she mysteriously has these series of events that came about that are preventing her from having to get up there at the time that these hearings are supposed to be held. Although talk was, she would not get out of it, and even if she didn't make the initial hearings, they would get her later on. So overall, I'm not believing this is real with her. I'm believing she's trying to get out of it. I'm believing that this lying woman does have her sights on the next election. That's my belief. God help us all even more than Obama if this one gets in. Because she's even more of a know-nothing, do-nothing, lying person. We all know the history of the Clintons and the lies that they told and the jobs they sent away. Even more so she is than King Obama. And that's hard to believe. But it is what it is. Then the coming year we'll be reaching into the solar maximum. You get conflicting reports on, well the sun's calming down and it doesn't look like solar maximum is going to be that much yada 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 we're gonna find out <clears throat> it is what it is and it'll be what it will be but the maximum date supposedly the heightened maximum is 2013 and we're there also uh, I don't think you need to worry about uh, I believe it's 2012 VA 14. I'm still keeping an eye on that and checking where it's at. It will be something that you you'll see fly by unless something happens like Comet Ellen and supposedly some mysterious blowing up, disintegrating, whatever. Unless something like that happens, it, it should be kind of like uh, YE-55 was. You know, it should be something you can see. I don't see anything right now that's going to push it any closer. And I don't see any chance whatsoever of an impact. And it seems to be small enough that by itself, I don't see it's going to pose any problem. So, in the coming new year, I wish everyone the best. Get to know Jesus. Start your new year off right. Pray for the world, all the people. Because it's bad enough as it is, and it's going to get worse. And when you pray, don't just hope that God hears your prayer. Don't just hope that you're going to get an answer. Believe in your heart that you have heard, had your prayer heard and that you will get your answer, that you do receive it. Don't worry about when it comes if you don't see it immediately. Just believe that He heard it and believe that He wants to give it to you and believe that you'll receive it. So with that, I'll close. And like I said, I wish everyone the best. God bless all of you and bring good things into your life. I'll talk to you all soon.